All right, well, a weak disturbance clipped the state of Utah, which meant a little boost in air quality conditions. But we still have dirty air settling into northern Utah once again. Meteorologist Alana Brophy explains how air quality isn't always what meets the eye. Filters taking in air particles. It's what's happening in the 20 air quality monitoring stations throughout the state. These stations are incredibly important when we head into a period of inversion. And this year, the inversion season has been a little different than years past. It's the buzz of info monitoring what we breathe in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We know dirty air impacts us. It's hard with the kids to go outside when the air is so bad because they start coughing and the little ones have asthma. And this year, Allison Sudbury, a nanny born and raised in Salt Lake, says she's thankful. Honestly, it's been a lot better. I've been really surprised. Um, I don't know, I feel like we've been able to go outside a lot more. The weather pattern is the reason this inversion season hasn't been extremely tough. An active pattern keeps the atmosphere mixing and allows us to breathe easier. Outside of wildfire and fireworks, January is when northern Utah sees the most days with dirty air. We've only had a couple, uh, I think Hawthorne and Rose Park are the main Salt Lake stations. They've had one apiece. Um, we've had a, three of them up in Smithfield. Um, their inversions tend to be a little bit tighter when they get them. Bocall is talking about three of the 20 air quality monitoring stations in the northern part of the state. Cache Valley has battled it a little more than the Wasatch Front this year. At times, the haze can look worse than it actually is. What you're seeing is light bouncing off of particles in the air. And if the particles are very small, you'll still get a lot of light bouncing off them, so it will look nasty, but it doesn't necessarily mean there's that much uh, particulate in the air. But it's a constant battle toward cleaner air as population grows. There are at least five legislative bills this session that will focus on air quality and clean energy. Everybody that lives in a house contributes. We've got water heaters, furnaces, we drive cars. You know, even if we take the bus or the train, we're still contributing. So we all need to be part of the solution. To track air quality in your area, you're going to want that Utah Air app. To download it, head to our website. We've got a link. That's abc4.com. Reporting in Rose Park, I'm Alana Brophy, ABC4 News.